All right, so over the weekend, I got uh, four packs of these. I've already opened the first two. I got them at a drive-in movie theater where I went and watched the Flash movie. And uh, we'll get into that another time. Here's a sticker. This is, uh, I think his name is Stooge Villers. Yeah, Stooge Villers. These are from the 1990 uh, Touchstone Pictures, which is basically a subsidiary of uh, Disney. Uh, film of uh, Dick Tracy, which uh, I pretty, I, I really enjoy it. I, I think it's pretty good. It's got Warren Beatty, it's got Madonna, it's got Al Pacino. It's pretty much an all-star cast. Dustin Hoffman's in there. Uh, <laughs> look at Steve the Tramp. Poor guy. I think he got a bum deal. Anyway, it's uh, a lot of comic booky action. It's bright colors. The the cards don't really do the, 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 the movie justice, I don't think. I mean, they're not, like I said, they're not as good a quality as the Batman 89 cards from the Tim Burton film. Look, there's that's already two in a row that I already had from the last rip. You'll probably notice. But uh, anyway, uh, I enjoyed Dick Tracy. I thought it was a pretty good movie. Uh, I watched it uh, when it came out in the movie theaters. Um, I wasn't as blown away with it as I was with like Batman, but uh, or even like Roger Rabbit. You know, I was a young kid. You know, but it's still a pretty good movie. Look at that. There's where they're getting ready to put lips manless in cement and then dump him in the ocean <laughs> and uh yeah uh, it's pretty good pretty good comic book movie one of the early comic book movies really wasn't bad warren Beatty directed it himself uh danny elfman does the music in it it's got some really great makeup effects like most of the time like you barely recognize the actors as who they're supposed to be but here is the real star of the show madonna as breathless mahoney who has a really big uh uh, part in the finale of that film. I don't want to ruin it for anything, anybody, but if you haven't seen it, uh, but if you get a chance, I wish it was on Disney Plus. They need to put Dick Tracy on Disney Plus. They put Who Framed Roger Rabbit on there, but anyway, Dick Tracy. Have you seen it? What'd you think?